Hello, and welcome to Conversation Therapy with Patty Harrison. I'm Patty Harrison, and I'm here with the amazing, incredibly talented, and <coughs> the incredibly talented Theta Hamill. Welcome, Theta. Thank you so much for being here. How are you doing? That's a little early to say. Now, transgender is a term that you coined. Can you can you explain that a little bit? I didn't coin the phrase transgender. Oh. It's um, but I did, uh, I did appropriate it. I am pretending to be trans to uh, get sympathy from strangers. Yeah, me too. I am. Yeah, because it's trending at the moment. Yeah. As you know, as somebody who works in new media. Um, media. Trans is trending. At what moment did you decide that you would be a trans? Uh, November 9th, 2016. I thought, I thought this of all times to be trans has got to be probably the best. Just for a start is the fact that America is going to be great again and we're going to take our country back. Yeah. And all that kind of stuff. I just thought this is going to be the best, the most ideal environment to be a trans person in. And so, with that in mind, I went through the process of lying to doctors mm -hmm. to get medicine. You gotta lie. Which was, I mean, they're just pushovers. Yeah. <laughs> Not only is it easy to lie to get medicine from doctors, it is fun. <laughs> what have you been up to recently? Trying to be more of a slut. Yeah. Trying to reclaim slutness. I think everybody sluts it up to get those sweet, sweet little kids. <laughs> this is what we'll call Tray anecdotes. Oh, great. You don't have to say it's great. <laughs> it's not great. It's not even good. In your experience as a trans person, yeah. um, has, has dating, um, how has that been? <laughs> as a trans person, I've been on one very big, long date. Yes. And uh, two very brief, unmemorable dates. The person I was with was another trans person, and that was like, I enjoy that experience thoroughly. People are sexually attracted to sameness along different axes. Like I'm attracted to transness, no matter where on the gender axis it is, just right. the fact of transness, and that is a form of like homosexuality. Oh. Yeah, no, I see that. I see the, you know, uh, it, it, it can be exhausting to be with somebody who you have to explain uh, everything to the things that cis people see as like the crises of trans life just the maintenance and passing through the world thing it's nice to share with somebody the fact that most of that stuff is like very boring there are real legitimate struggles but then among other trans people you don't actually have to focus on your crisis state all the time so that's yeah. also a benefit it could just yeah. be like we can both be bored with being trans and i think that if once you get so bored uh, of being trans you just switch back and now i think it's time that we transition to our next segment we tra we transition and this segment is called bag chat where we chat on bags I thought of some pickup lines and I wanted your input. These would be pickup lines that cis people could use to pick up a trans person if they're interested. Okay, so great. So I wanted to get your input. I see you as a fully actualized person with likes, dislikes, opinions, hopes, goals, aspirations. That doesn't do it for me. What about, um, my dad is Steve Bannon. <laughs> I like that one. Okay, what about this one? Your sense of self does not threaten my connection with my own identity and actually inspires me to think more critically about the mechanisms and functions of my own binary gender identity. That, uh, to me, is compelling. It just sounds like a latent trans person who is about to use an actualized trans person as a stepping stone on their own gender journey. Okay, what about this one? Um, I am Steve Bannon. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any advice for uh, any cis person looking to date a trans person? Uh, sure. The first thing is that we're all, all trans people are just, we're just sluts who want to be told 
what's bad about us. So I would love to be told that I have a big nose, but I'm not just passing. I would love to be told to like wear a girdle. I don't even think that's just limited to the trans community. I think everybody likes to be told uh, to wear a girdle. <laughs> Now's the time in the episode that we're all here for. It is called conversation therapy um, because a part of uh, it's a wordplay on conversion therapy. And I will be converting you uh, back to um, your cis majesty. And if anything goes wrong, I probably had it coming. I'm happy to lay myself at your mercy. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I'm nervous, I haven't, uh, this is, okay, close your eyes. Mm -hmm. Let me pray for you real quick. Dear God, I hope this goes good. Okay. And <laughs> trans. That was it. The procedure's feel, over. How do you feel? Are you, is, I feel. I feel great. Can you go to the batting cage? It's okay. <laughs> I feel good. We used all the money in our production budget to get this bowl of fruit. That the, we didn't allot enough money to make the machine that I had designed. <laughs> no, no, I'm to telling you that you it from worked. To make trans to No, I'm it's okay. You, you don't have to do that. Uh, and we've reached the end of our show today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Patty Harrison. Thank you so much, Theta. Thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure. If you like this video, like, subscribe. Tell me in the comments what I should change about my face surgically. <laughs> Tell me what isn't so passing. Can you see my facial hair? Let me know in the comments.